One of the most terrifying forces in the ocean, rogue waves can tower up to 100 feet high. And the worst part? They strike without warning, swallowing everything in their path. And let's not forget tsunamis, capable of wiping out entire coastlines from over a thousand kilometers away. But what happens when these unstoppable forces collide with something as massive as an aircraft carrier? Join me today as we find out. Aside from rogue waves and tsunamis, can these behemoths of steel and firepower hold their own when faced with something as unpredictable and destructive as a hurricane? In addition to enemy forces, these carriers also have to contend with nature itself. Hurricanes are born from the fury of the ocean, costing Mother Nature nothing. But their competitor, a $13 billion aircraft carrier, one of the most expensive things to ever grace the sea, it's the ultimate battle. Human engineering versus nature's raw power. And when the final result is destruction, well, you can't exactly hand Mother Nature an invoice. Hurricanes are the ultimate natural predators that are born in warm tropical waters and quietly build strength until they're ready to unleash chaos. These storms are both breathtaking and fearsome in their destructive power, with winds tearing through at over 150 miles per hour and relentless rain pouring down. Now, imagine an aircraft carrier, a floating fortress, staring down the barrel of a hurricane. It's like a scene straight out of a Michael Bay movie. Waves the size of buildings crashing into the deck, testing the limits of every tie-down chain, holding billions of dollars of aircraft and other equipment. The storm doesn't just threaten the carrier's hardware. Over 4,000 crew members' lives are at stake as the ship sways and groans under nature's assault. Can you picture it? The chaos, the sheer force of the ocean's fury. So what does this mighty vessel need in order to survive an onslaught of nature's wrath? The real hero behind saving billions of dollars and countless lives is the engineering marvel that makes these colossal aircraft carriers possible. Every inch of these giants is designed to withstand the ocean's wrath because these aren't ordinary, run-of-the-mill ships. They're built to take on the harshest conditions the ocean can throw at them, including hurricanes. A big part of what makes them so resilient is their sheer size and weight. Aircraft carriers become the real power of the sea with their enormous hulls and deep drafts. These elements make them far less vulnerable to the kind of violent rocking that smaller ships experience during storms. So when those hurricane winds start howling, you might wonder if these giants are at risk of toppling over like a toy boat being tossed by an angry toddler. But the reality is that these carriers are equipped with cutting-edge stability systems, like gyroscopic stabilizers that help them stay steady even when the wind and waves are trying to knock them off balance. And let's not forget their flight decks. These decks are designed to handle fighter jets landing at breakneck speeds while slamming into the surface with an incredible amount of force. If they can endure that kind of punishment day in and day out, it's clear that hurricane force winds and towering waves are nothing in front of this gigantic maritime ship. Archimedes might have laid down the basics of buoyancy, but he had no idea his principles would one day keep 100,000 ton steel giants afloat. The rules are simple. If an object is less dense than the water it displaces, it floats. But aircraft carriers, they don't just float, they dominate the seas. With their sharp prows cutting through waves and flat decks stretching out like a massive battlefield, they may look unstable at first glance, but yet these flat tops are engineered to perfection, balancing sheer weight with expert design. These carriers don't just navigate, they thrive, defying the laws of nature while carrying and protecting billions of dollars of equipment on their backs. When you gaze at an aircraft carrier cruising the ocean, it's easy to miss the real ferocity happening beneath the surface. That sleek, knife-like bow might slice through the waves, but the true genius is hidden below. Take my favorite, the Nimitz-class carrier. It's not just a floating fortress, its hull spreads out a staggering 134 feet wide at the waterline. This colossal width is the ultimate stabilizer making sure that buoyancy forces are evenly distributed and keeping the carrier rock steady. 
This beauty is designed to laugh in the face of nature's fury, ensuring that even the roughest seas can't topple the steel giant. Starting in the 1920s, shipyards built passenger ships with large bulb-like protrusions below the waterline. One of the most famous ships with this kind of a bow was the Imperial Japanese Navy battleship, the Yamato, the largest battleship of all time. The Yamato's bulbous bow stuck out over 10 feet, giving her an extraordinary top speed of 28 knots. U.S. Navy aircraft carriers have been built with bulbous bows since the USS Ronald Reagan. These bows are a standard of the latest Ford-class carriers, including the USS Gerald R. Ford, and will be features on the future carriers like John F. Kennedy, Enterprise, and Doris Miller. They're also standard on the WASP and America-class amphibious assault ships and the Arleigh Burke and Zumwalt-class destroyers. They also help add a ton of stability, so it's a lot harder to knock these things off kilter. While the aircraft carrier's engineering is nothing short of extraordinary and amazing, it's the crew skill and training that really makes a difference when confronting a hurricane or angry monster waves. Now, these sailors aren't just on board for the ride. They're experts in handling extreme conditions and adapting to whatever challenges come their way. Their experience is crucial for keeping both the ship and its crew safe. When a hurricane is about to hit the aircraft carriers at its peak, the crew springs into action with a series of crucial precautions. They secure all loose equipment, lock down hatches, and reinforce key parts of the ship's structure. The command team also carefully charts a course to take the ship away from the storm's most dangerous areas. During a hurricane or a big challenge like that, the crew operates like a finely tuned machine and works in unison to ensure the ship remains afloat and operational. It's a high-stakes scenario, and it's here when their training and commitment are pushed to the limits. So, can aircraft carriers handle hurricanes or monstrous waves? The answer is a definitive yes. Despite the sheer power of hurricanes and the wrath of the waves, these naval giants are more than capable of weathering the storm. Equipped with advanced technology, robust engineering, and a highly skilled crew, they laugh in the face of danger and roar at the wrath of the ocean. These carriers aren't just any ship. They're colossal symbols of maritime dominance. The real thrill lies not only in whether they can defy extreme weather, but in how they do it with awe-inspiring engineering and sheer human grit. As they charge through treacherous waters and slam into nature's fury head-on, these giants become the ultimate testament to humanity's drive to master the raw, untamed forces of the natural world. Their unbreakable resilience is more than impressive. It's a badass declaration of our power to tackle the most monstrous challenges and emerge triumphant. So what are your thoughts on awesome aircraft carriers and how they tackle what nature throws at them? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video.